Are you duck? So we're back with Andrea and we are going to do a full set of Aqua Gel Nails with a twist because we're including gel polish. It's all going to be a little bit. I want to say smushy. Marble is. Colourful. Definitely colourful. So let's get cracking. So we're going to scull, so I'm going to wipe over the nails with the salt and clean up solution. Can I just say one thing before we get started? Welcome back! Welcome back! Yeah, because this is the first video where we've done after Kirsty's sh shoulder injury. Ah, uh, uh, yes. well, yes. Neck, shoulder, arm thing. Back. I know. Yeah. Back filming. Miss me, Aunt Yadden. I know. Not in we've all, I've, we've missed you very, very, very much because my nails were hanging off. <laughs> so your nails have missed that? No, yeah. but I've seen you, haven't I? Yeah, you I've seen, seen I've seen you. So, yeah, I'm back. I've actually seen you more when you've been injured than I have. Because, <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't been able to... I mean, obviously, I've still been working, but not doing nails working. Behind the scenes brand stuff, yes. But I haven't been able to obviously do clients or do filming. So yeah, I don't get me wrong, I'm still not 100 percent But you're not even close. I can, you know, I can actually stand doing a set of nails. For all your clients do that, you put a form on, but they like and they start doing like this with their hand. <laughs> uh, you're going like that, you're going. Oh, just move that over there. What yeah, you don't know you're doing it. No. Well, I hope you don't know you do. No, because I wouldn't do it. No. Right, let's bang these forms on to the four fingers. We're not going to do the thumb until after because it just makes things difficult. It's there. The it's on the other side. It might as well be upper arm. Do you know what I mean? I wondered what you were going to say then. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you can do this part before the forms go on or after, but if you think you're going to touch the nails when you're putting the forms on, you can actually do this at this stage. So I'm applying the Kirsty Meekin base coat. Don't you just love how I've got a little piece of my hair attached to bits of sculpting form on my... on that song? <laughs> Lovely! So very, very little product. You can see I'm sort of rubbing that into the nail. And if you can see, you can see the texture of the nail coming through the base. That's how thin it needs to be. You want to treat your base coat as a primer. Pop me that into the lamp. So I'm going to do some French. Some are going to have the design full on the nail. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to sculpt out with clear as day. This is me or the tragic one, but I do want to get every last bit out. Look, that's been in the easy squeezy, easy squeezy there. And look, it squares it all out. So let's whack that in. When you've got a new bottle of Acrogel, you'll find it very difficult to put into the easy squeezy. You need to at least get like, at least see how that bit's got some out. You need to, sorry, you need to at least get this amount out so you can go into the easy squeezy and you press it in, give it a little bit of force and turn the key. But we're going to use this, so just a little bit of clear and I'll use my spatula and I'll also use a combination of the Mr. Buttons brush and the Brendeck brush. Now that's not going to squeeze out because it's getting low, but if you have um, a brand new bottle or tube like this and you put it in the easy squeezy, you might have seen in other videos, if you don't put the lid on, it will continue to squeeze out slowly and then you'll be like, oh dear, you'll be like, oh dear, look at that. It's the over easy squeezy. It's, yeah. yeah. Easy over squeezy. Easy over squeezy. Yeah, it's uh, very too easy. It's very easy to over squeezy. <laughs> God, I had to put my teeth back in now. So I'm going to take sort of like a pea size amount of each one on there. I'm going to use some clean up solution in a dampened dish. 
You want to support the form as well as the finger. So the brush is dampened with the clean up solution. Stretch that out a bit. I'm going to do this on all of them first. So you're making contact with that natural nail. If it starts to stick to your brush, you will need to rehydrate your brush with clean up solution. Then I'm going to smooth with the Mr. Buttons brush. And this will drag part up down. We have a smooth finish. Pop them in. Do not knock <laughs> the forms. Oh, you should have seen Andrea's face then. She's like, I'm scared. Yeah. That's fear. Right, so pink glimmer. We are going to do a smile line. So I use the Brenda brush just to guide it into place. And then I can use the Mr. Buttons to refine. So it has a gentler touch, which is very rare for me to have a gentle touch. <laughs> Just smooth a little bit, and I can be behind the smile line. We're coming out where the natural nail finishes. You see, just there, that's where the natural nail finishes, and that's where we're going to start that high point of the smile line. It's a good guide when you're doing smile lines because generally it's the same on both sides. But when you're doing the prep, if you notice one side's higher than the other, you need to obviously take that into consideration. Put me out in the lamp. You put the pinching tool on while I do the other one. And it'll slowly pinch. Do not add pressure to it. Guide that into place so you're just shy of that cuticle. Then we're going to refine. Look how easy that is to use.
Right, so we're going to get white marshmallow. We're going to squeeze some of that out onto the palette. If you haven't got a palette, you can use a um, sculpting form. I'm going to do this in both, both or three of these dips. So we're going to use MRGN, we're going to use Griff and we're going to use Sandra. No, it's not Sandra. It's 33. Isaac. Those three colours. So, pop some of each colour. At the side. Then we are going to mix You want to keep everything quite flat because don't just like go like that. Because what it will do is it will create too much air in the product. You want to mix it flat and then the bubbles will pop. So gather it up flat again. to make those bubbles pop. And once you've done that, you can gather it off. Scrape it off. Clean spatula. We're gonna do that with the other ones as well. I'm just gonna set that aside, because the more you set it aside, the more any bubbles will come out, the more that um, it'll go nice and smooth consistency and it'll be a lot easier to pick up. So we're gonna set that aside. Can I have your hand? You are amazing, thank you. I'm gonna wipe this over with clean up solution. I want you to keep those out of the way. Thank you. Because we don't want no dust getting on them. And I'm going to use a 150 grit file to just come around the smile line and make sure it's super sharp So I'm going to do the same on this nail. Then I'm going to use white out gel polish. Come right around this smile line. I 
on both nails. And do it with the brush up first. And I'm going to take a little bit of that with the Miko Aqua brush and then we can just get that nice and close same on this one okay right, pop me that in now we're going to take the spatula pick up the aqua gel place it on random and then I'm also going to use some marshmallow white on its own It looks like an everlasting gob stopper from Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah, it does something. <laughs> it does though, yeah, you're right. Then we are going to, obviously, it looks like a smushy mess. We are going to smush. You want them to kind of fold into each other. So remember those lollies, zap lollies, mm. oh it's going to be like a zap lolly. So at this point this is where you're also going to create your shape. The more you move it, the more it will marble. So you can move it around so it marbles a bit, but you want to make sure that you've got enough product for your shape.
just cut off that and that's going to move when it goes in I need to flash it mm-hmm just going to flash cure it so this, the form doesn't move right put my yummy in the lamp give them a full cure I'm excited already right so on these ones we're going to do the ball shebang But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down that cuticle area first. So this is a little bit backwards if you do acrylic. We don't sort of do this part first. We do the free edge. But because we are not relying on the product setting on itself, it won't set until it goes in the lamp, it's okay to do it like this. And I know that we can get a cleaning cuticle area. I'm going to go all the way around the cuticle and just those side walls with product. If your brush starts to stick to the product, then you need to clean it, rehydrate it with cleanup solution, and then tap, tap your brush each side before you touch the product. That's going to drain any excess cleanup solution from your brush. Smooth a little bit, and I'm going to cure those with the mini lamp. I'm going to move that out of the way. <laughs> oh my god, <sighs> <sighs> nearly, nearly cured the rest of it. Right, pop me those in and then I'm just going to put a little bit of clear over just to reinforce. So, bit of clear as day. So this is where you can fully ensure you've got your apex, 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 <laughs> apex lying in the back third of the nail. Apex? Is that something else? Is that actually something? There was a movie called Capex, but I've never heard of an apex. 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 Comment below if you know what apex is. Yeah, yeah where have I had that from? Who's to say it in Scouts? Yeah. <laughs>
So you know this alert that's coming on Sunday? Not on my phone, it's not. <laughs> not on your phone, it's not. Not coming on my phone either, <laughs> no. but like, um, yeah. If it if you could pick the sound that it was, what, what would you pick? War of the Worlds. <laughs> was that what you picked? <laughs> yeah. No, that Sunday. Sunday. St. George's Day of all the days you have to pay. Pop that in the lamp. Right, what I want you to do now is I want you to cure underneath. Probably no, I've pushed it down. Oh. By the way, just telling you, I'm filing them now. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to file the rest with the distractor. So to save the distraction, we'll just fast, fast forward this guy. So we're going to put some crystals on because obviously I've not even asked Andrea, but I know <laughs> it's pointless asking you. Yeah, I want crystals. You want crystals, didn't you? Yeah. There's a fuzz there, and that might be Drago's. Where would Drago oh, for Drago us then? Are you wondering who Drago is? Drago is Andrea's dog, who is humongous, but still a puppy. <laughs> He's just a baby. He's just a baby, boy. massive. So, we're using the crystal to tell this um, gem glue, which is from Nail Cubby. Pop that on where you want your stones. Use the Pammy Picker up it. And pop your stones on. So I'm going to top coat, and this is a glossy top coat. We're going glossy today. It's a no wipe top coat, meaning it has no sticky layer. And we're going to butt the top coat directly up to the stones. This just helps to keep the nails nice and clean underneath. If this was my mum, she'd be going, oh, so I can do my gardening with no evidence of not wearing gloves. <laughs> I'd be like, no mum, wear your gloves. I look under my mum's nails and I'm like, oh my god. You've clearly been gardening and you've not worn any gloves. Oh wow, it's just a faff and I'm like, warm. I know because you just I start things and think, oh I'll put my gloves on. Oh I can't be bothered now. But then cuticle oil to finish. Now, I know they look good enough to eat, but it doesn't mean you need to chew them. Okay, kind of too. They definitely won't taste like the Zaplon pops. No. I'm very good to pull. Oh, that's summery. I feel summery. You feel summery yeah. again. Good, because it looks like summer out there. I yeah. know. We're finally. Be the weekend. I think he's still was trying to trick us. Tell you what, though, it goes cold at night. It does go cold at night. It was. It was freezing. Yeah. 
Please. Yeah, I won't yeah. get Kit Kat and I was like, Jesus Christ, yeah. it's amazing. Oh, I love it. Beautiful though. Bell. So you ready for your olive bobs? Yeah. Yep. So you guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget, everything I've used today will be listed below. Um, check out in the description box. Everything will be there. Um, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all that shebang. And I'll see you in the next video. ta -ra -ra. Have a nice time in Poppy Fracks, Andrea. Thank you. Wales. Wales. Not Wales. And then Italy. Yeah, then Italy. People say to me, I want to learn how to do nails with them stickers. <laughs> that's only what I'd call yeah, them stickers. stickers that you put on your finger. And I'm like, mm, no, that's fucking important. <laughs>